Hello viewers, this is Dao Too Fast here. Right now I'm doing an amplifier install on my Nissan Rogue and I just finished running my 8 gauge power wire from the engine compartment through the firewall into the vehicle. And right here is my fuse. From this fuse I need to connect it to the positive terminal of the car battery. In this video I'll show you the tool that I used to crimp the battery terminal lug onto the power wire. For this subwoofer install, I ran a dedicated power cable from the engine compartment through the firewall into the vehicle and connected to the amplifier. Right here is a power cable connected to a fuse holder that's mounted next to the battery. From here it needs to connect to the battery terminal with a battery terminal lug. Let me show you the tool that I use to crimp this terminal onto the wire. To crimp the battery terminal lug, I'll be using this crimper you see right here. This one here is made by the company iCrimp. If you look on this side, you see the die for the different gauge of wire. On the far right, this is for wire gauge 1, and then 2, 4, 6, and 8. Now with this being a bench style crimper, you'll make the job a lot easier, especially if you have to crimp the bigger wires. To open up the die, lift up the handle. Right here in this box is an assortment of different battery terminal rings. The smallest one is this one here for 12 gauge power wire. The biggest one is this one here for 2 gauge wire. Now with each ring terminal, you have two sizes of screw hole. This one here on the left side has a diameter of 6.4 millimeter, and this one here on the right is 8.4 millimeter. So find the size that's on your battery post. So the first thing we need to do is strip back the jacket or the insulation on this wire so it'll fit into this ring terminal. I'll be using this really nice wire stripper that you see right here. This one's also made by the company iCrimp. Now you'll notice right here, there are different slots for different size of wire, and at the top you have this very sharp blade. With this tool, it'll make stripping the insulation a lot easier. You see some people using a knife like this and then going around. It just takes too much time and it makes the job a lot more difficult. I'll place a wire right here and I'll bring down the blade. Now all you have to do is spin this. Now you can insert this wire into the ring terminal. Now I'll place this ring terminal into the 8 gauge die. I'll bring down the handle. Press down the handle all the way. Now if you want to crimp the remainder part of this connector, you can push this in, and again bring down the handle, and crimp the rest of the connector. And now this battery terminal is secured. Now before I install this, I'm going to put a heat shrink on it. Now I can install this onto the battery terminal. I'll install this terminal onto this bolt right here. Now I'll reinstall this cover. Here's a look at the installed battery terminal. And if you're interested in picking up this tool, I'll include the link below. And I will soon have the full install video of the subwoofer system in the Nissan Rogue. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoy watching this video. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.